In this video, I will be reviewing a clown Halloween inflatable we got from Lowe's in the year 2022. I'm pretty sure it was a display model and it didn't come in the box. It just came in a plastic bag, so that's why I think it was a display model. Um, and we got it on clearance, so that's why we snatched that up as soon as we saw it. But um, in any case, let's plug it in and see what it looks like. Getting pretty good at plugging these things in one-handed, holding the camera the other hand. Okay. This might be a repeat if you see my other video about that, um, that, that, that gimme ghost I got where the light wasn't very well bright. I was not impressed at all with the light. It might be a repeat of that because this is a, a floor model of the lights might have been burned out by now. But who knows, we'll see when we turn the lights off. Believe it or not, this is actually our first clown we have in our Halloween display. We Well, we have an archway with a clown on it, but that's you know, part of the archway. This is the first clown we have to be part of our, our uh, display. So you think silly, you know, evil looking clowns would be pretty common. But, I mean, for us, but it's the first one. So it'd be interesting to see. Um, oh yeah, you got a pumpkin down there just for good measure. I like the <laughs> chicken on his belt. Like a yo-yo, I guess, a star belt, star buckle, I mean. He looks definitely, he looks like a combination between evil and silly, that grin. Ooh, I, I only wish this beanie actually moved like it was animated, but it's not. That would be awesome if it was animated, just spun around. And this is the perfect combination where it's, I, I know some people are going to be scared just with the clown, they scared of clowns. And I gotta say, I don't blame them. But um, it, for, besides that, it's a perfect combination. It's perfect, um, I don't know what to say, but it's, it's not scary. It's just really creepy looking. And that's what, that's what typically what we look for. We don't look for scary, we look for creepy. So I think it'd be perfect for uh, people who don't, aren't just afraid of all clowns, but they're like, oh, that's a creepy clown. I don't like that clown. Yeah, I don't like that clown. Yeah. I think it'll be great. I think it'd be, uh, be awesome in our display next year. Six feet tall. Let's see what electricity looks like. Am I gonna go down or that staying there? 16.6. Kinda high. Hmm. Let's see what the motor looks like. Maybe it's a big motor. It did blow up pretty fast, so it might just be a big motor. And it is a pretty good sized motor for one of these small motors, so I guess that's why it's almost 17 watts electricity. It's a good sized motor. It definitely blew up fast, so I can't complain about that. It puffs out nice and well, it fills out, no wrinkles or anything. So, I mean, that is nice how they did all that. Turn lights off. Oh, but we almost forgot the stakes, which I think just, oh, they didn't come with any stakes. Okay, yeah, that's another reason why I'm pretty sure it's a floor model, because they're not coming with any stakes. So, what can you do? And yeah, you could tell the light, it was definitely a floor model. Look, the lights are already dimming. I mean, it's not as bad as that one, uh, that one gimming ghost I did, but they're definitely dimming. And if you watched my Gemi Ghost video, I was kind of shocked. I said there's no way this is the fault of it being a floor model, but I did the math afterwards, and I think it is because of the floor model. Because you gotta figure it's a floor model. They have it plugged in probably 24 hours a day. They're, they're not gonna you know unplug it at night and plug it back in the morning. They're gonna just leave it running 24 hours a day. So you think of it, if they do that for the entire month of October, and, and nowadays they're actually starting to put these up towards the last two weeks of September. That's upwards of six weeks. These are plugged in 24 hours a day. Well, I, I think I did the math. It's like what, about a thousand hours. These are plugged in. So that would dim the LED lights. I mean, they could use better LED lights because LED lights typically typically have a you know, about 5,000, 10,000 hour um, life, well, not lifespan. That rating, 5,000 to 10,000 hours, usually means at that, after 5,000 to 10,000 hours, whatever it's rated, um, it'll, it'll be at 70% of its original brightness at that point. So this is way less than 70%, even way less than, I'd say this is more like maybe 30 or 40%, and it's only after 1,000 hours. So you can tell that these LED, these inflatables that come with these LED lights, these aren't the ones where you just, you can unscrew them and put another light bulb in. These are ones that are like hard wired into the, dis, uh, the inflatable. These, I, I guess they just use cheap lights, which is probably why, the, probably why they, keep, they can keep costs down, of course. So you're talking about a thousand hours, maybe, and it's already at, I'd say, if I just guessed, 30% original brightness, which is kind of disappointing, but you gotta figure a thousand hours. If you have your display on for five hours a day, 30 days, 
a year, because you know, the whole month of October, what is that, 150 hours. So, you know, it, 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 it'll last a couple, at least three or four years, I'd say, before, maybe even five years, depending on how often you use it, before it gets to this point. This is just because they had it plugged in 24 hours a day. You're not gonna, I, unless you yourself plug in 24 hours a day, which is possible, in which case, here's what it's gonna look like, look like your second year of using it. But most people probably don't plug them in for five or six hours a day. That's my guess. That's what we do. We only do five, six, maybe seven hours a day. Um, in any case, yeah, so you can't really fault, not entirely. You can you, you be, I don't want to say upset, disappointed is my word, that they don't use better lights to begin with, so it, it'll last, you know, a couple thousand hours. But in this particular case, you can't really be disappointed uh, it being so dim, it's because the floor model. If you got it brand new, it would look much brighter, much much nicer. And the fact that I can still make a lot of it out has two lights. Look at three lights. Let me go back here again. That has three lights. This one in the bottom. That's rare. They don't usually have one at the very bottom. That's what I, I thought that was weird. So three lights. Yeah. So the very bottom is lit pretty well. It's probably because the pumpkins there. Why I did that. But it, yeah, the brand new. Or, or if you replace the lights, if you are um, you think you're okay with, you know, doing a little bit of minor electrical work. But, uh, they, they, before, if you're not comfortable, make sure you look up how to do it. Don't just say, oh, I could do whatever. Look up how to do that. Don't don't just think you could just, oh, I'll just change the, the light bulb. No problem. Look that up before you do that. But if that's something you do want to do, you can change the lights or brand new, the lights be bright. It'll look really nice at night. I think it'll light up really well. I'm sorry, I, I know I'm, I'm rambling a, a lot in this video, it's just, I just, it's just that ever since I did that, 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 that Gemi video, I just was looking back, I'm like, oh, I was kind of unfair to say that the lights didn't look nice, it's because of the floor model, this is the floor model, it looked much better if it um, were brand new, but I still like it, I, so yeah, I definitely recommend it, it looks nice, it looks creepy. I like it. It really is a nice one. I'm definitely going to replace the bulb so it look nice and bright for next year. Maybe I'll do another video again next year so you can see what it looks like with the new bulbs. Um, but yeah, in any case, that's all I got to say about this video or this inflatable. Thank you for watching.